Bonsoir. Greeted by all the service, and it's very quiet. Bonsoir. Wow. And this is the table, and this is the view. What's up, Park Hop? And I'm back here at Walt Disney World, heading into Epcot through the International Gateway. And uh, I always like to stay or park at Boardwalk. And just to my surprise here, we've got characters walking around Boardwalk. There's Daisy. We got Chip and Dale out in the yard. I always gotta say hi to Daisy. All right, so from here, going to make our way now through the International Gateway. Tonight we're having dinner at Monsieur Paul in France. Heading over to the International Gateway from the boardwalk. It's a nice walk across this bridge. You could take the boat. Boat drops you off over there or picks you up over there. Has a couple of stops and then takes you to the International Gateway there. But I like walking. Wow, just got into Epcot and Daisy beat me over here. Uh, very slow. I'm gonna do a little shopping in some of the stores they have here, but man, is it crowded. But it's, it's like so sunny. It's one of those beautiful back here in the French Pavilion. You're greeted by Belle and Beast. There is the Beauty and the Beast sing along attraction that does draw a bit of a crowd, but. Check out some of the shops. I like coming in here because one of the shops that have perfume and cologne by Dior. And you all know I'm into that stuff. It is time now for dinner at Monsieur Paul. It's tucked away in the back of the French pavilion. And it is a prefix menu. I'm gonna go Let's go check out the menu they have posted up on the wall. Yes, it's very expensive. $1.95 a person. So you are getting some high-end stuff, fancy stuff here at Disney. You get to pick one of these. I don't even know what that says. Good thing they have the translation there. Uh, an appetizer, a fish course, a meat course, cheese, and dessert. Let's go. So out here is the, the Chef de France. That's the front restaurant, Monsieur Paul. You have to go up the stairs. Very elegant. So making my way up the steps to the table. by all the service and it's very quiet. Bonsoir. Wow. And this is the table and this is the view. Wow. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Closing. Uh, our server said it's probably about a two to two and a half hour experience of fine French dining. There is something that's not on the menu that I'm gonna get. It's the wine pairing. It's a little less of a full glass or a full pour uh, for each for um, each for each uh, for each course. Uh, you have the appetizer, a fish course, and a meat course, and the dessert, of course, and there's a wine pairing with each one of those. So I'm gonna opt for that. That is an extra $110, I believe, to add on to what you're paying for the meal. So right out of the gate, they serve you a glass of champagne. And champagne can only be called champagne if it's made from the proper region in France. And then they served, looks like some tuna thin slice with a little bit of pesto and some other stuff he said that I don't I don't remember yeah that wasn't good at all it's gone
The appetizer is now served. We ordered to the main lobster salad and then the escargot. Here is the main lobster salad. Look at this presentation. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, paired with a, a white wine, Sauvignon Blanc. And then this is the, the escargot. Yes, the color may not be appealing, but I was assured that the flavor is amazing. Bon appétit. So again, maybe the color's not appealing, but down inside there, the escargot, this is packed with flavor. It is absolutely incredible. Very delicious. I'm glad that I picked this. Tearing into the lobster salad. Amazing. Bread service also came out. There's the butter. Of course, I have to have a French baguette. We're going to have a sea bass here in a puff pastry. We're creating an actual sea bass. The head, the fins, the scales, you have it all. Beautiful. We have a lovely roasted cherry tomato, citrus butter, lemon shavings on the top. We have a braised asparagus, also with some lemon shavings. It's going to be topped with some roasted almonds to complement we the asparagus and, we and the cherry tomato. Beautiful. And then we have what we call in French mignonette, which is crushed pepper, some chives, and some salt. And actually, the salt is a salt from Maldon, salt from England, salt from Essex. What a presentation. That's the sea bass in a puffed pastry. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The human we have scallops, they are low, cooked low temperature, seared at the last moment, with the tenderness, the meatiness of the scallops. They're served on a lovely bottom of squash volonté, just the heat. So far, I have been blown away by the service, the presentation, the food. Yes, it's expensive. Uh, but it's an opportunity to break away from the from the park. If you are at a park, been there all day, you're exhausted, and you just want to experience something like I want to be pampered. I want to be. I want to have something so exquisite. This is highly recommended so far. Yes, you're going to need a park ticket. Then you're going to need to pay for the, the meal here at the restaurant. So it can get costly. But if you are someone who wants an experience, wants fine dining at its best, uh, and still be part of the theme park, so far, what's your Paul? Man, this, this place is amazing. This is the course between the fish course and the meat course, but there's something going on here. <laughs> I'm not sure what. Also, the right This is a palate cleanser, all about the pear. Uh, you saw in that footage, it's, it's a pear trapped in a bottle. This is some. Um, I'm assuming like some ice cream or something of the sort with that pear cognac port over top. All to cleanse the palate before the meat course. I am feeling so pampered tonight and I'm loving every minute of it. Now I'm here for the meat course. Here is the rack of lamb with the, I think he said au jus that he poured over. I mean, just cooked amazing with a stuffed cabbage leaf with vegetables. We also got the filet mignon. The sauce looks so rich and, and incredible with the mushrooms. And then he claims the best mashed potatoes or whipped potatoes you've ever had. Of course, we paired it with a beautiful red wine. This looks incredible. If you ever wondered about rack of lamb, like, I don't know if that would be good. It's devoured, gone, and it was absolutely delicious. And now we're moving on to the cheese course. Yes, you heard me correctly, the cheese course. There are four different cheeses here. Um, I'm not going to try to repeat them. They did bring some what they would call toast. Uh, they recommend having these cheeses with the fig jam that they provide a jar of 
This is the cheese course that is before the dessert course. I mean, we are really getting pampered tonight. I'm just saying. This is beautiful. So now we're on the dessert course. This is the chocolate sphere, and they pour, I guess, what hot chocolate over that to melt it. Chocolate cognac sauce. A chocolate cognac sauce to cause that to melt open, open up. Wow! Look at this presentation. What's in that sphere? So we have a scoop of chocolate ice cream. We have a hazelnut mousse at the bottom. An almond biscuit on the top that's wow. in the chocolate ice cream. And then I have the apple tart here. Absolutely. Okay. Biscuit is cooked both ways. Soft with the almond cream. You have lovely compote de pomme at the bottom. It's fresh, thinly cut slices of apple with a sugar cream crumble. A scoop of vanilla ice cream. Lime shavings on the top, and we pour a vanilla and citrus reduction onto the apple tart. Beautiful, looks amazing. The final course tonight, just some little bites and some Grand Marnier to sip on, and then of course, the fireworks. Again, I had a fantastic time. Yes, it was expensive, but it was, it, the food was amazing, service was amazing. I would recommend this if you're looking for that break out of the, the, the park experience, out of the hustle, out of the crowds, out of all that stuff, and you just want some fine dining, you want to be pampered, fantastic experience. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure, drop me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment, subscribe to Park Hoppin', all that stuff, and I will catch you all next time.